This has been a very competitive offseason. In each drill we do, there, like you said, there's a winner and a loser. The losers do what they have to do as punishment for losing the rep. The winners get to relax and hopefully they win the next one or else they'll be doing the same thing the, next guy, the guy next to them was doing. I feel like we got slightly complacent and a little bit laxed and we lost that edge to us. And that, that, that competitive edge that previous San Diego State teams have had that have driven them to win those championships. We were lacking a little bit, and so we've been working really hard um, in the workouts, but as a group, as a team, as brothers, to regain that culture that we've lost. The last year was disappointing. We didn't meet our standard at all. Every year we go and try to win the conference championship, and we haven't won in the last two years. And going out like we did last year, not even winning 10 games, uh, it was very disappointing. It was hard for a lot of us, but we, we knew what we needed to do. We knew we needed to buckle down and we came back and Coach Hall put us through one of the hardest off seasons here since I've been here since my freshman year. Um, but we knew that's what we needed. We knew that it was essential for our team and to regain the culture that we lost. And it was it was a it was a grind, it was hard, but it was worth it. We have a lot of responsibility on our shoulders as an offensive line and you know we gotta move the people out the way so that they can get in the end zone. And we have two really good backs with Joan and Chase. They're hard runners and they've been working really hard this offseason to, you know, strengthen their weaknesses. And I'm confident with them in the backfield. I have no doubt that Joan and Chase will step up to the plate and be really good for us this year.